Welcome back everybody. Okay, let's get started with this project. So I've gone ahead and I've put a stop bead on my thread. Um, and you do need quite a bit of thread for this project, just giving you a heads up. All right, let's start with our bead. So I'm going to need three of the 11 O's and then I'm going to need in a rotating pattern, uh, one of our super duos. So this, in this case, it's going to be the red, then an 8 O super duo, 8 o, super duo, 8 o, on and on and on until you reach the length that you need for your wrist. Just like this. So continue rotating that until you get the length that you need. And it should look something like this. And I go ahead and grab on the opposite end, you want three more 11 o's as well on that end. So once you get to this point, we're going to go down through the other end of the red super duo and pull. All right, let's pick up color number two of our super duo. So this is going to be a copper color in my case. Of course, you can use whatever colors you like. So here we're just adding a copper super duo in between the two red super duos. And we're going to do this. We're going to go all the way down. Just continue in this fashion until you reach the other side. It should look just like this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay, we have one more upper super duo to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and go th up through that last red super duo. All right, and then we're going to pick up a red super duo and we're going to go down through the hole in the copper super duo below. And then here we are, we're just going to add red super duos in between our copper super duos. And we're going to do this all the way down. Picking up a red, going through the copper. And again, grab a red super duo or whatever color you're using and go through the following super duo. Okay, so it's going to start looking like this. Continue doing this all the way down the length of the bracelet. Here we are. I've got one more red super duo. Let's go ahead and add that in. And then I'm going to pick up a one last red super duo and then three of my 11 O's, which is in this mustard color I love. And then we're going to go down through the other side of that red super duo. And these little 11 O's are creating the little end cap for, you'll see, it's going to be where we add our clasp. Okay, now we're going to go down the length of the bracelet and in between the red super duos, we're just adding an 8 O. Let's pick up an 8 go through the next super duo. And this bracelet's going to get tighter and tighter as we work through it. There's many steps. We're going to be going back and forth, um, and it will kind of come together. It may be, feel a little loose in the beginning, but by the get time you get done with the bracelet, it'll be nice and tight and together. All right, continue this, adding these 8 going all the way down until you reach the other side. So here I am coming out of the 11 o at the top. And I need to move into position. We're going to add an embellishment on the side of the bracelet. So I'm going down through the copper and the red super duo coming back up through. You can do this really any way you like. This is just what made sense to me. You just want to get into position. So you can see I'm on the opposite side now. I'm going to go through the super duo just like this. And then I'm going to go up through that 8 -0. And that's going to put me into position. Now you do not have to add the embellishment on the side of this bracelet. You can stop right now and add your clasp. That's fine. I just wanted to add this embellishment for two reasons. I like the aesthetic. Uh, so here I'm picking up three of the 15 O's and I'm going through the next 8 -0. Um, I like the aesthetic and I also, uh, it helps to strengthen the bracelet. 
because I'm going to be working down the sides of the bracelet. So again, pick up three of the 15 O's and then go through the next eight O. And again, three more of the 15s and then just go through that next eight O. I did try this with the 11 O's. They're just too big. It doesn't work. So you're definitely going to need the 15 O's. So continue this process going all the way down. This is what it looks like. I think it's beautiful. So here's our last 315. So I'm going through the 80 and then I'm going up through that super duo as well. So there I'm coming out of the super duo on top. So I'm going to go up through the 11 O above that and then through that middle 11 O. All right, so here we are. We're going to add our clasp to one side. So I'm picking up two more 11 O's. I'm going to pull those down. And then let's go ahead and put our needle through the clasp. You can use any clasp. This is just the one I'm using. It's what I had. Okay, so I'm picking up an 8 o, 11 o, and a 15 o in that order. And that 8 o acts as the stopper bead. So I'm going to skip the 15 and I'm going to go down through the 11 o and the 8 o. And then I'm going to go through the loop in my clasp and pull. And you may have to mess with this a little bit just to get it to sit tight. Um, it does take a little bit of adjusting, but you, you know, you just mess around with it and you'll, you'll get it there. Okay, so I'm coming out of the loop. I'm going to pick up two more of those 11 O's and I'm going to go through that middle 11 O on the opposite side, just like I did. And then go through that 11 O next to the Super Duo and then up through the 8 O on the other side and pull tight. And there you go. That's going to be our clasp on one end. So let's continue down the other side just as we did. We've picked up three of the 15s and I'm going through the next eight. Oh, again, three more 15s. Let's go through that eight. Oh, again, you're just going to work your way all the way down the bracelet, just like we did on the other side. And then here we go, three more 15s up through that eight, just like that. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and work up through this super duo. Okay, so that is the end of what we're going to need the working thread for. Um, so I'm just going to work through the piece giving it a little bit of strength. And then I'm going to tie some knots because we don't need this working thread anymore. I'm just tying it right here on this thread bridge on the end, just makes it super easy and convenient. And I did two knots. You can do three or whatever you're comfortable with. Two seem fine to me. And I'm going to go back down through a couple of beads here just to secure that. I go down through this super duo. You can really do whatever you want. Um, I just like to work the thread back in. Okay, and let's cut that thread. We do not need that anymore. We're done. Gosh, it's beautiful. Such a beautiful bracelet. You really can do so much with this. Okay, so this um, tail thread, we need to add a needle to this thread. And then we're going to go down through the opposite um, side that we're coming out of on the super duo and then back up and let's pick up three more of the 11 O's. We're just doing what we did on the other side. So let's go down through the other hole in the super duo. And then I want to loop back up. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through one or two of these 15s um, just to get into position to kind of turn around and go back up, but in a, in a way that's secure. So I'm going to go back up through this super duo here. And then I'm going to go through the eight and then through the super duo on the top. You see what we did? We just did a loop. Okay, let's go up through the 11 O and then the second 11 O. Pick up two more 11 O's, pull them down. Let's go through the loop on the clasp. Grab an eight, an 11, and a 15. Pull those down. Skip the 15, go through the 11 and the 8 and the loop on the clasp, pull that tight, pick up two more of the 11s and go through that middle 11 
and then go through the next 11 right on top of that super duo and then through the 80 and the 110 beyond. You really can do this any way you want. I'm just telling you the path I chose. All right, now I'm going to find a thread bridge because that's it. We're going to tie some knots. I'm going to tie a knot here. I'm going to work my way through the beadwork just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and tie another knot, pick a thread bridge, go under, create a loop, go through the loop, pull it tight. And then let's go through a couple more beads. There we go. And let's cut that thread. We're done. We're done, guys. How easy is that? Such a simple, easy, beautiful bracelet. I love this project. Take your time with it. Pick out your colors. Enjoy the process. This is a stunning bracelet. Absolutely love it. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming back for another video. And thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day.